Hello, and I hope you're having a great day. This is the i3-T2, and it can use both AAA batteries and 10440 lithium rechargeable cells. However, something strange happens when you use lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry in these lights. That's what this video is going to be about today. We've got three different i3-T2s here on the table and a two different types of batteries. The light blue batteries are from PK Cell. They have a voltage of 3.7. There are 10440s, and then the other ones, the black ones with the yellow print, are from SoShine, and they are the lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry cells with a voltage of 3.2. So lower voltage than these ones from PK Cell. And the weird thing is, when you do a runtime test, apparently, the results are very different. And once again, I want to thank a couple of different commenters in the community for this video idea, because I had no idea this happened. I had only tested these in the i3T, not the i3T2. But yeah, what we're gonna do is a little bit of almost science in this video, just a side-by-side -side comparison to see what does happen when you put these lithium, or lithium iron phosphate batteries up against the lithium ion batteries. So that's what we're doing right now. Um, just gonna do it all in real time here because it doesn't take long. So on the left, the blue i3-T2 is gonna use that 10440 from PK cell with the voltage of 3.7. And then on the right, the two i3-T2s are using the SoShine Lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry cells with a voltage of 3.2. What you're going to notice is in a couple of minutes, the output is going to dim down dramatically with the i3-T2s using the lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry. I cannot tell you exactly why this is because um, the lithium iron, the lithium ion battery seems to be able to run down pretty far low. So I don't think it has to do with the voltage cutoff. But my best theory right now is that because the voltage is a little bit less with the lithium iron phosphate cells at 3.2 as opposed to 3.7 with lithium ion, I think the flashlight thinks that a 10440 with critically low charge is inside, which might be why the output drops down so quickly, but I'm not really sure. So if you have a theory um, or any input, uh, maybe you know electronics better, please put it in the comments for us. But that's my leading theory right now, because I don't think the light has like a low voltage cutoff based on past experience, but the lower voltage does seem to impact the light. It could, my, my best theory is that it's the driver. Um, the driver and the i3-T2s have been improved over the original i3-T series. Um, you do get more brightness and better run times out of the i3-T2s. If you're interested in that, I've got um, videos to compare both AAA output um, and runtime and also 10440 output and runtime. So if you're interested in those videos, I will link them in the description below. But yeah, as we're about to see here, um, I'll move these lights in just a moment or two and you'll see that the output is, you can already tell on camera, the output has dropped down already and it's only been about two or three minutes here. So yeah, not ideal at all. So if you do have an i3-T2, um, I'm not going to recommend the SoShine lithium iron phosphate batteries in them. Now, if you have an i3T, an original one, that's a whole other story because I found that you get the most light or the most brightness for the longest amount of time using the lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry from SoShine. Um, those are the only ones I have tested, but I really like them on the i3Ts, the originals. Because like I said, they might not be the absolute brightest, but the amount of light you get for the duration in my testing, it's almost double the amount of time you get. Um, so if you're interested in that video on the SoShine batteries and the i3T, that will also be in the description below. One other benefit of lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry is that the life cycle or the number of cycles, full charges and discharges that you can get out of a single battery is a lot greater than with lithium ion. So they, they tend to last a bit longer. And then they're also a bit safer of a battery chemistry in terms of uh, like thermal runaway or worst case scenario battery failure. Um, thankfully, I haven't had any problems with lithium ion batteries and I use those most often, but that's just something else to point out. So I'm a big fan of lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry in general, like in power stations and things of that nature. I think that battery chemistry is really useful and has a really good, um, some really good benefits. However, in these i3-T2s, for whatever reason, uh, you just don't get the performance. The, the, they drop down and you get a very little amount of light, um, almost like a moonlight mode. It's almost unusable amount of light. 
Don't know why that is. Like I said before, I think it's the driver. Let me know your thoughts if you have any input on that. Because like I said, when the lithium ion, the lithium ion batteries run all the way down, typically you get a flicker and the flashlight itself doesn't seem to have low voltage cutoff. So I'm not sure, you know, what's going on here. Um, I think the light just thinks that a really low, I, I have no idea. I have no idea actually, but it is an interesting phenomenon. I uh, wanted to get it on camera. A couple of different users have asked me about it at this point. So I thought, man, I got time. Let's make a video. And just for reference, what we're going to do is bring in an i3T here. This one is uh, pink, obviously, and we're going to be putting in that lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry cell inside. You're going to see it handles it very differently than the i3T2. Since we already saw how the i3T2 handles it, we've got an i3T2 in blue on the table just for fun with a lithium ion battery, the PK cell with the 3.7 nominal voltage. And yeah, we're gonna see just how long these lights can keep this up. Um, basically the, the runtime, the standard runtime for the i3T series in general is around 20 minutes on high mode. You're gonna see that both of these lights can handle that with these different batteries here. So in other words, the, I3, the point is the i3T handles the lithium iron phosphate battery very differently and can sustain a higher level of output for a pretty long time, about 20 minutes plus. And in past tests, um, in a video, like I mentioned before, it'll be in the description if you're interested, I got around almost double the runtime of uh, lithium ion 10440. Lithium ion 10440, if my memory serves me, lasted for about 20 to 23 minutes. Whereas we got about 40, four to 45 minutes of runtime with the SoShine lithium ion phosphate batteries in the i3Ts. So that's why for the longest time, um, I thought that the absolute best battery you could use in the i3T was this SoShine, you know, lithium iron phosphate cell. You do get a crazy amount of runtime and a good amount of light too. Not quite as much as a lithium ion battery, but a whole heck of a lot of light. And um, not to mention the benefits mentioned earlier, just with the battery chemistry in general, number of cycles and safety and so on. But yeah, as you can see, 20 minutes, no problem there. So when it comes to the i3T2, for whatever reason, the 3.7 volt nominal and the 1.5 volt nominal are good to go. However, these 3.2 volt ones don't work. Thanks for watching. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for the interesting video ideas. And uh, if you have any more, put them in the comments for me and uh, hopefully I can get to them. Anyways, hope you have a great day. God bless you. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.